Hey guys, I'm here with Kaylin Ford, our remarkable conservative candidate in Calgary Mountain View. So delighted to have you on the team, Kaylin. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about your background because it's pretty interesting. Um, well, I was, I was born and raised here in Calgary. I uh, did my undergraduate degree at the University of Calgary, mostly actually studying Chinese history. Um, I then, when I was about 21, I went to Washington, D.C. Uh, I pursued a master's in international relations, ran a small business with my husband there. Um, I was a, at one point, I was recruited by the federal government to go work for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So I think our times in Ottawa overlapped a little wow. bit. You were the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, uh, and I was at the Foreign Ministry. And you were a recruit. I was recruited, that's right. Um, and then uh, I took a little bit of time off after my first daughter was born. Um, decided to do a second master's degree in international human rights law at Oxford. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I spent some time uh, in film and television. So I made a documentary film a couple of years ago. And if it's not impolite to ask, you've packed all of this into how many years? <laughs> I'm, I'm 32. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's, a, that's slightly embarrassing <laughs> for me. Um, well, you are the personification of what I call a new generation of leadership. You know, half our candidates roughly are under 40. That's right. And it, it's just great to see um, your kind of, I think, idealism and, and depth of experience coming forward. What has motivated you to take the plunge into elected office? You know, in some ways, I've, I've just always been interested in policy and in politics. And I love working with people and trying to help them, right? And um, my husband and I decided to move back to Calgary because we wanted to have another child and ultimately, you know, home is home. This is home, yeah. Um, and when I was growing up in Alberta, like, it's, it was just a fantastic place to grow up. I think I, I, I didn't realize that at the time. But this is a place where, you know, people have access to a world-class education. Uh, we live in a really generous, open society. We have high levels of trust and I think social cohesion and mm -hmm. solidarity. Um, but also it was a place where when you grow up, you can do anything in Alberta. Yeah. You know, when you graduate from school, you have opportunities. If you work hard, you have the freedom and the opportunity to pursue to pursue your passions and to succeed. And um, I took that for granted growing up. But, you know, through traveling around, you realize that that is not the case everywhere. Right. There are parts of Canada and certainly parts of the world yeah. um, where, where people don't have the same kind of opportunities. So I want to make sure that my children enjoy the same benefits of growing up in Alberta that I had here. Kaylin. I know you've you won a hotly contested nomination, which means you had to meet uh, thousands of your your constituents. Right. You're continuing to do that in the middle of the winter. Yes. What are you hearing from them? What what are their top concerns? Well, Mountain View is uh, it's kind of an interesting constituency, right? Um, but ultimately, the concerns that people have, I think, are, are similar to what you'd get anywhere in Alberta. People are concerned about the economy. Um, they recognize that so much of the pain that we're suffering here in Calgary, in particular, is it's the result of bad government policies, right? This is not um, some kind of cyclical thing or, or a result of fluctuations in the commodity market. This is a result of bad policy, and I think most people see that, um, and they want a change in government. People, we have a lot of young families. People are concerned about the debt load that we're leaving to future generations. Um, everyone wants strong social services, especially in healthcare, in education, mm -hmm. but they also want to know that their tax dollars are being well spent, and I don't think that that's always the case. Um, and they know that if you want strong social services, you need to have a robust economy as well. Exactly. Um, I guess the other thing that I hear a lot is there's a lot of frustration with um, the manner in which politics is often conducted, right? People are, are exhausted by divisive, negative, partisan discourse. They want to see a more positive vision. They want to see people who are committed to exercising decency, to seeking truth, um, and really just sort of, they just want you know an adult at the helm who exercises prudence, who's sort of sober, who can weigh different policy options, um, not from an ideological perspective, but um, but from a you know a real desire to understand what's going to work the best. Well, I always say that that civility is a core conservative value, Absolutely. and that's why I've banned heckling and desk thumping in the legislature. We've tried to raise the uh, level of decorum significantly. We didn't get much credit for that, but we'll no. keep working at it. No, and I would, but I would, I often encourage people at the door if they ever, you know, when people say that, I say like, go watch clips of Jason Kenney in the legislature, and you'll see. Uh, that I think there really is a concerted effort to engage in a different kind of politics. Well, hopefully we can do that together as part of a big team in so. government. And I truly want to thank you for, for stepping forward, uh, that somebody uh, of your caliber is is willing to do this, um, especially with a young family, is, is remarkable. So we're going to do everything we can to uh, hopefully get you elected in Calgary Mountain View to be part of our next government. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Kellen.